I said to her, I said, yo, I'm going to keep it a being with you, bro. And you came to my house and had two just you raw. I ain't seen no condom, no none. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like you done. I said, that's why, yo, you should go get tested, bro. And from that moment, she started like, because she, the denial shifted and she kept like trying to like pivot on the denial to, yo, nah, send me the video. Yo, I'm pretty sure I didn't him and I'm like bro you fucked him and she's like no no look again and I, now I'm getting super tight because I'm like bro I'm not about to watch this video if you can like it's on my surveillance like bro like I was with you like what you want me to watch the video if you get this is gonna be the most egregious thing and if anybody and if she actually denies this I got all the proof I could have had this woman in jail for 40 years are y'all listening to me for 40 years this is how forgiving I am and this is why y'all gonna call me a simp and I'm gonna take it there's a time I used to have a million dollars cash in my crib. That's a fact. Do you know this bitch stole half a million dollars from me? What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. It's safe to say it's been a crazy 24, 48 hours, right? 24 to 48 hours for DJ Academics. For those trying to figure out what the hell is going on, listen, there's a video of Academics explaining the story of himself exposing his ex. Listen, y'all have to watch the whole video. It's an hour, of course. But to just... Break this story down to give y'all context. I mean, academics, as we all know, became very popular off his reactions on YouTube. And, you know, he, he's done well for himself, right? Um, so to, to see something like this at the end of the year, um, whether you love him or hate him, listen, this is, this is crazy. This is wild. I, I, I don't think anyone's seen this coming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, according to ACT, you know, Shorty was going to expose him, so he beat it to the punch, right? Um, and for some odd reason, you started seeing content surface on social media surrounding academics and accusations. There's, there's other videos on Twitter. You can just, you know, type in his name. You'll see it trending. But you just started seeing it, like, at least, what, two days ago. And, you know, Ad comes out with the story and I'm sitting here watching these these clips, you know, go viral on IG. And I'm wondering to myself, why is he telling us this stuff, man? What What is going on? You know what I mean? What is the reason for this? Right. So Ad, he goes on his live. You know, he, he talks about, uh, you know, this this woman who he clearly invited over. Right. Uh, I don't know if it was his main girl or not. You know what I'm saying? He was dealing with her enough. To, to, to pay for that Uber, <laughs> for her to come over there, for whatever reason, he, he he's drunk. He passes out. Wakes up, sees Shorty, I guess, sleeping. He asks her, did she have a good time from last night? She say, yeah. He checked the camera and sees Shorty getting tag team by his mans. I mean, just come on. The fact that you have to admit this, you have to be this transparent. I mean, I don't know. What this girl was capable of doing with act, but just hearing these these stories, then you go as far as to say that you know Shorty went ahead and you know got the crib raided. Police had to kick down the door. They wanted to see the footage. According to act, you know nothing happened. He was vindicated after they seen the footage. Um, and then out of left field, you see this young lady. She comes out and says that uh, everything Act is saying is a lie. For those who missed the video, check out this clip. I look crazy right now, but I'm not going to stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years, you tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You me too. And a test kit was done. 
you know what? I'm gonna come back with my own story. Did this what you wanted? You're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. Now, for whatever reason, this this woman came out with her video responding to act. I don't believe anyone knew the identity of this woman up until she did this video calling academics a liar and also saying that act and his homies assaulted her, right? She says she plans on coming out with a video exposing the truth, all right? She also said a kit was done. So, of course, shout out to my man, Chig Smooth. He, he, he did a brilliant job covering this topic yesterday. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. But he got academics response yesterday to this young woman calling her a liar and exposing these accusations. Check out this clip right here. Not only that, but she also sent academics a warning that she's going to expose the truth. Now, Ak immediately went back on live stream to address it. Here's what he said. Out the woodworks. I'd never said who you were, shorty. Okay? And I'm not even going to play because she made a video. I'm not even going to play the video you made. But what I do want to show, number one, first and foremost, if everything or anything you're saying is true, it would have been charged. N nothing happened. You feel me? No case, no nothing. Also, I will say this. These are things that the police and everybody else looked at their damn self. You know, unlike the cost and that incident, I will say this one was something that the police handled, not social media. It's crazy now that the police handled it. Nothing happened. They said, oh, okay, this wasn't shit. Now, Shorty's trying to, and again, I don't know how she just jumped into the mix, but I'm going to show you exactly. And by the way, I can't show certain shit. Like, for example, I sent her a video of, of her at my poolside with two kids. I said I was sleeping. I can't show you that explicit photo. I still got the image of that. Feel me? I, I can't post it on here, clearly. But the police seen all this shit. Like, these are, they seen everything. Now, Ak also goes on to show text messages between him and the train girl that backs up his statement that he was not involved in anything that happened that night with her. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show those messages. Ak said he wasn't trying to show them on stream, so I think he wants those to remain private. He's still trying to protect her identity, so I'm not gonna put those up. Whenever Ak wants to, he's gonna reveal them to the public again. Like, listen, man, first day of 2024, and already people are trying to get academics the hell up out of here. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, it's been a crazy 48 hours for academics, I'm sure. And, you know, if anything, I'm sure he, he's ready for all of this to stop. We know Ak. He's very open, right? He's very active on social media all the time. If this was anybody else, it's safe to say Act would have done a whole full breakdown. But because it's him, you know, now he got to put out these fires, right? Because, listen, it's not over. Apparently, this uh, Hood Zone TV individual put out this video on Twitter. You can find it over there. Just, you know, hashtag academics. But in this video, you hear a woman screaming right to the top of her lungs in the background and again we just seen the video of the young woman saying she was assaulted so it's you know it's like wait a minute now this has people speculating like yo was academics hurting this woman in the video this video got millions of views right so without you know the right context people are on twitter having a field day ready to cancel academics of course he wasted no time responding to this clip on Twitter um, immediately. Like I said, these these fires just started happening. Here come at, you know what I mean, trying to put them out one by one. He's like, look, this is fake news. This video is a drunk woman who never got smashed, smashed excuse me, by nobody's friends. She's screaming because she's seen blogs posted a clip of me talking about her and it made her look bad. Try again. Once again, academics putting out another wildfire, right? Another... Uh, you know, headline involving his name. People now speculating after seeing the last video of the girl come out saying that Ack and his homies assaulted her. So when you see this video and you hear this girl screaming, you know, you don't know what the hell is going on. You just see Ack coming back in the streaming room and in the stream, right? So, like I said, Ack, I don't... <laughs> We know Act for being big Act, right? He always beating his chest. And, you know, he has this persona about himself when it comes to his brand. And like I said, he got a lot of enemies, right, on social media. So whenever something like this happens, it's safe to say people going to start popping out with their reactions. And that's exactly what happened with Freddie Gibbs, man. Immediately, he, he come in here and talking about, look, man, academics, listen, man, life is kicking your ass right now. And then this other post, <laughs> Saying act quiet as a church mouse today. Happy New Year. I mean, he going hard to paint. I can't even say that. But my man said he going to come to the courtroom and slap act. I mean, listen, 
This is what happens when you in this this arena, right? In, the, in this media space, when you have a platform where you get to go at individuals, whoever it is. Recently, Metro Boom and Blueface, we know he, he violated. You know what I'm saying? Freddie Gibbs. Um, they got this beef right going back and forth. So it's, it's, it's not shocking to see Freddie Gibbs go out there. A lot of people are really trying to avoid it. Especially, you know, the men, because they don't want to get caught up in anything like this. Right now, ever since Cassie came out with, you know, uh, her lawsuit, everybody's coming out with stories. So, and to see how academics covered the whole Diddy situation, right, gave a whole full breakdown. Listen, my man, Ag, for whatever reason, he decided uh, because this this woman he was dealing with, and that that's a whole different conversation. But listen, Ag, I don't, you know... Know your, your upbringing. I don't know the individuals, you know, you were raised around, if you got a crew. But to to hear that your man's is hitting your girl, right? Or, you know, the lady that you invited over for you. and You know what I'm saying? This is your company. It's your, you pay for the Uber. You fall asleep and then your man's hit it. They not your man's, bro. You got to really, you know, reevaluate everybody in your circle. And mind you, maybe this whole situation has forced him to move differently. That that could be true. But if not, listen, man, you dealing with women like this that could possibly end your whole career. You work so hard to get to this point and you see the climate of what's going on today. Come on. You got a lot of people that have a strong dislike for academics. So, of course, right now, everybody hoping this is the end. You know what I mean? For academics. Nobody want to see. Uh, somebody, you know, fumbled a bag, you know what I'm saying? A lifetime bag. Um, and we all know, because I know people be in the comments, you know, what are you saying? Are you condoning this? Listen, these are all accusations, a allegations. Like I said, last time I checked, Act hasn't been charged with anything. Um, but again, you know, moving forward, we don't know. All I'm saying is, Act, listen, hopefully this situation will humble you enough to move differently. But just understand, amongst your peers, everybody looking to act funny now, man. This this is this whole, you know, no jumper type, you know, uh, style of media where people just be revealing any and every detail. Listen, certain things are meant to be, you know, put on the Internet. But again, that hasn't stopped anyone. Right. People are going to do what they choose when it comes to, you know, document and wild things we've seen. But just immediately here at academics. Um, you know, tell these, these stories about him getting robbed by Shorty, right? He He's saying Shorty getting tagged. I mean, yo, I, I, I pray for this man mental because, uh, you know, you have trust issues. And, and it's wild to think that, you know, this whole time, act, you know, as hard as he worked putting out the content, this whole time, he, he going through stuff like this. Like I said, this is something where people definitely going to look at act a different way. You know, they're going to call him a simp. They're going to call him a weak man because you got to have the, you know what I'm saying, the level of awareness to see when people are trying to take advantage of you. How do you let this woman take a half a million dollars from you and then say, I could have got her arrested, bro? What? I would have got her ass locked up. You crazy. Ain't enough love in the world. I'm sorry. Motherfucker still with half a mil. You going to jail. Gladly. I'll be right there. Gladly. Ain't no loyalty. When somebody violate, ain't no loyalty. And for whatever reason, Act chose to continue to deal with this. Well, I hope and pray that this is, you know what I mean? Not uh, you know, a relationship that will continue moving forward because Act, you <laughs> this is wild, man. This is wild. Already to start the new year. But yeah, man, y'all let me know. What are your thoughts on this academics controversy? What are your thoughts on Freddie Gibbs reacting, going hard in the paint? You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm not surprised at all. But like I said, academics, he going through it right now, man. Y'all let me know what's your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace. It's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Curl Joe, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me, old oh, you from the last in condoms. I ain't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The f*** wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the f*** that meat is. Yeah. Real. I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the, the part about it.
the part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping him. I said, there ain't no point of both of us getting... <laughs> Look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. $20, homeboy. I'm like... <laughs> no, sir! 